Hi! In the Browserify introduction episode, we had to run the Browserify command every single time we made a change to our JS file, which pulled in npm modules. Obviously that can't work in the real world, we want to automate it somehow. In this episode, I'm going to show you two ways of automating it, although there are a bunch of ways of doing it. We're going to use the Watchify module to automatically compile the file. And we're going to have a look at a simple express setup where we introduce the Browserify middleware module to compile all the files in a directory and make it available for consumption by the browser. In the previous episode, we coded up this amazing piece of art. It pulls in both jQuery and Lodash from npm and spits out a beautiful unordered list of numbers. The problem is, we had to rerun the Browserify command every time we changed our file. So if I change the code like this, to sort the list in descending order, and refresh the browser, nothing changes, because we need to recompile. Now let's install the Watchify module, which we run to watch for changes on our files and recompile them on the fly. To keep on compiling our file, we run Watchify with exactly the same parameters as we used for the Browserify command. When we refresh the browser, we can see that it updated. Now let's change that code again, so that you can see that it recompiles it. I'll just add a string in here and... Cool. It's updated without us having to do anything. So that's cool. That's a good way to get started. But let's have a look at something a bit more real world. Have a look at the Sample Express app. It's got a public folder configured and I've moved the HTML over to the public folder. I've moved the bundle.js file into a JS folder. What's really important to note here is that the bundle.js file is not in the public folder, so it won't get served with the Express app as it stands now. When we hit the index.html file in the browser, you see that we get a 404 here. That's totally expected. So to compile our file with middleware, we install the Browserify middleware module. And in our main express file, we require this module. Okay, so this is the important part, so pay attention. This one line of code tells express that it should handle all requests coming in on the root JS and serve up the compiled files which you can find in the JS folder, currently containing only our one bundle.js file. Now when we hit this up in the browser, you see that the 404 is gone, so it compiled the file and hooked it up with the dynamic root for us. To illustrate the power of this, I change the sort order again and it's updated. What's cool about this setup is that it compiles all the files in the folder and handles the routing. To illustrate that, I want to show you this. I duplicate this bundle.js file over here and call it bundle2. I just come up with the zaniest names. Let's remove this unique call here and add onto this string. In our HTML file, we reference this new file which will be compiled automatically. We refresh it in the browser and there we go! That's it for this episode. There are a whole bunch of ways to automate Browserify. We can do it with Gulp for example, but you get the idea. Hit me up on Twitter if you want to see more. See you next time!